This is believed to be an American jet coming to collect staff from the US Embassy in the Yemen. The British and American missions there were evacuated and shut down. A widespread terror threat has been narrowed to this country. The headquarters of Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula and the strongest performer in the terrorist franchise. How much significance should we attach to this very dramatic development now out of Sana'a, the Yemeni capital? I think it's very serious. Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula has been one of the key groups that has been able to actually plan attacks as well as get them to be uh, you know, close to actually happening on the U.S. homeland. So I think that the United States government is being very careful about what is happening here because they know that AQIP does have the capabilities to project to the homeland. The latest threat came after the U.S. intercepted a phone call between Ayman al-Zawahiri, the al-Qaeda leader, and his deputy in the Yemen, Nasser al-Wahaishi. Zawahiri has used internet broadcasts to whip up activity among his followers. He hopes to generate scenes like this. The last time the U.S. Embassy was attacked in Sana'a, 19 people died in 2008. Al-Qaeda's latest threat provoked the Pentagon to send military aircraft to collect its diplomats from the Yemen. The country has been a major target for U.S. drone strikes. At least four people have been killed in drone executions in the last 10 days. The attacks do not appear to have reduced recruitment to al-Qaeda's cause. We had a drone strike here this morning at about 2 o'clock local time, which left at least four suspected al-Qaeda militants dead in the province of Marib, which is just east of Sana'a. And uh, early reports suggest anyway from the government that one of those killed was on their 25 most wanted list, which they released last night. The alert is not just confined to Yemen. 22 other U.S. missions were closed on Sunday across 18 different countries. 19 of them will remain shuttered for a week. It will not have escaped al-Qaeda's leaders that they have generated worldwide attention and disrupted American operations with little more than a phone call.